Hey, welcome back. In this video, we will learn about comparison operators. So I'm back here in Rappel and I created two new files here. One is this comparison.js, which we will work with in this video. And the another one is the vardt.js, which we worked in the previous video. And then we have the index.js file, which is basically calling the comparison.js file at the moment. All right, so let's get started. So comparison operators are used in logical statements to check for things like if one variable is equal to another variable or not. And it usually returns in a Boolean value. So you will see things like true or false. So what we're going to do is get started with the first comparison operator, which we actually looked into it in the previous video. So which that is basically the double equal sign. So I'm going to add that over here, equal value. So if you remember, we looked into this in the previous video when we were checking for the Boolean value. So what we're going to do now is basically create a new variable. So I'll do, let's say, var a equals 10, create another one equals, let's say, 5, another one maybe, and say a equals 10. And this time I'm just going to do console log and check if a is equal to b. Copy this. Oops. And then do the same thing if b is equal to c. All right. Now if I run this, what do you think will happen? All right, so both of them gave us false because a, which is 10, is not equal to 5, and 5 obviously is not equal to 10 over here. And obviously, let me just change this to a equals c. So this time it says true because a, which is 10, is equal to c, 10. So what if I change this to a string over here? What happens if I do this? Now if I run this, there you go, it still says it's true. So what we just did is change the integer or the number into a string over here. So this one is a string, this one is a number, yet when we ran this, it is comparing it as the same thing. And the reason for that is it's checking for the value. So the value of A is 10 and the value of C is also 10. So it's not checking what the type is, but it's checking actually the value. So in this case, both of the value are same, so that's why it returned true for us. Now there's another way to check where if you want to make sure the value and the type is exactly the same. And for that, we can use triple equal, which basically will check for the equal value and equal type. So if I check equal type, all right. So in this case, what I'm going to do is copy this again, paste it over here. But instead of double equal, I will put triple equal here. Now if we hit run, so the first two we can ignore, it's these ones. But the second, uh, the last two, if you notice, this one, this time it's false. So obviously A is not equal to B, which is which makes sense, 10 is not equal to 5. But for the A and C, when it's doing the comparison, it actually returned false. Because while the value is same, the type is different. The type for this is obviously a number, and the type for this is our string. So it checks for that, and obviously it will give us the value that it's false. So something to keep in mind whenever you're using double equal or triple equal and you're confused which one to use always go with triple equal because you want to make sure that the value and the type are same this takes away the headache of remembering whether it fits in the string or a number or what kind of type it's being returned to us so with triple equal we know exactly what will being returned and we will know the value in true or false right away okay now let's look into the next type which is not equal so that is used by this exclamation mark or also called a negation mark so we do exclamation equals and that is basically doing our not equal value. So this is kind of the same thing as this. So if I just copy it here, paste it and instead of the doing equal, I will change this with not equal. And if I run this, so if you notice the last two, is it is a not equal to b? That's true. It's actually not equal to b. So we got the true value here. And then the second one is a not equal to c. Well, in this case, we are going, we are not doing the strict check. We are doing the uh, value check. So technically, a is equal to c. So it returns false for us over here. So because you were expecting it to return if a is not equal to c, which is true, but instead that's not true. It actually returned as false. I hope that makes sense. It's not too confusing. Okay, so let's do the next one, which is the similar value to this one, but instead what we're doing is not equal value and not equal type. So I'm going to do this not equal value and not equal type. I'm going to copy this here, paste it over here. So like you imagine, it's going to be negation mark double equal and do the same thing over here. And if I hit run now, 
there you go both of them actually return true so why did why did this happen because obviously 10 is not equal to 5 so this makes sense it's not equal return as true um, the second one is is a equal to c in this case it's not equal so we that's what we're expecting a is not equal to c and we got true value all right so th that's the pretty much the only difference you're gonna work with equal or not equal or strict equal versus not strict equal okay now let's take a look at the remaining ones which are even simpler so the first one is our greater than and this one is straightforward it's like the math greater than so if i do let's say 15 is greater than 10 which is it is so it's going to return as true it is uh, greater than 10 if i say if uh, 5 is greater than 10 let me fix this nope it's not so it returned as false awesome so this one was pretty straightforward obviously the opposite of this is less than so we can take a look at that too is 5 less than 10 it is if i hit run yep that's true is 15 less than 10 if i run this no it's not so we got false all right so that was pretty straightforward um the remaining two are kind of similar to this if i just copy this over here paste it so that one is greater than or equal to so basically what we're gonna do is 5 greater than or equal to 10 in this case no it's not so it's gonna give us false but if i let's say do is 10 greater than or equal to 10 well 10 is not greater than 10 but it is equal to 10 so we got true over here same thing the opposite of this is less than or equal to if i change this to less than or equal to is 10 less than or equal to 10 yep it is it's equal to 10 if i do 11 less than or equal to 10 nope it's not it's actually false so there you go we have covered all of the comparison operators hope that was straightforward the key thing to remember here is obviously the equal which is the that is just checking for the value versus the triple equal which is checking for the type if there's any takeaway you want to take from this it's pretty much this all right so i hope you got this let's move on to the next lecture now